Uh, the Dispensatron is a remote control pill device uh, for users who can't use their arms or legs. We started this project uh, last year in uh, winter quarter. Uh, we were an EDC group. I guess the project objective for the quarter was to build a pill dispenser for a user with tetraplegia. We were designing for a user who couldn't move his arms or his legs at all. And we had to build a pill dispenser for him that he could operate pretty much only with his mouth. I um, wanted to figure out a way to be more independent. I did have our system pretty crude set up on my desk, but that was very crude and I wanted to find something that would be more reliable and more long-lasting. We were kind of designing it for our specific user in mind. Um, <clears throat> around week three of EDC, we went to our user's house and uh, we actually got to talk to him, bounce ideas off of him, what exactly he wanted from us, um, which really helped a lot. Uh, we also got to work with the RIC directly, the Rehabilitation Institute of Chicago downtown, which is an amazing opportunity for freshmen. And so we had a lot of good ideas to, as our starting point. We started out with mechanical devices, thinking, oh, we can put something near his face where he can use his tongue or mouth to operate. But then we shied away from that because we thought it would be hard to position it correctly or just the logistics and seemed like it was going to work out. So then we moved to more of an electrical solution. Um, he uses this computer called the Progressive Computer to control his TV and other appliances in his house. So we were looking for ways to integrate a device so that he could use his computer, which he uses every single day for his life, to control a pill dispenser that can get him his pills when he needs. Here's our um, beautiful Arduino mi microprocessor. This will be attached to a board that um, would then take remote signals from our user and send out um, power to, to um, the wheels and, and signals to have the wheels turn. It's, um, like I said, a beautiful piece of acrylic. Um, it's really, really strong but easy to machine. So this motor will sit inside of this piece of acrylic and then we would have this um, attached to the bottom of the box and have the wheels turning um, at the top. We went through many iterations and this was the most um, elegant and delicate design that we came up with. Since EDC finished, uh, we went, we talked to our user because we knew he was really interested in our project, um, our solution to this problem in particular. So then we worked for about another year uh, just basically refining and refining. Uh, we worked with our same EDC professors uh, because they knew the project and we knew that they wanted to see it through as well. Uh, we're writing another EDC style paper that we're hoping to pre uh, present to the RIC downtown um, so that they can maybe take all of our uh, templates on the laser cutter, um, all of our ideas, maybe find some more people who could benefit from a device like this. It's, it's been awesome to sort of just see this, this whole thing through to the end, through this through a two-year process. It's, uh, it's been a lot of evolution, a lot of iteration, um, but that's basically what engineering is. I like it. I like it. And um, I, I, since you put it up, I continue, to make, I continue to think about what ways to make it better, like anything may be better, but right now I think that we have a few kinks to get out, but I'm sure nothing we can't solve. And, uh, I'm very happy.